really physical last year, so I think we have a lot of returning starters on the defense, so we just got to... It starts with our run game, and if we are able to stop the run, then we're going to be just fine, because that's pretty much what the Suburban League is all about. It's just ground and pound, and if we're able to be physical, stop that line from penetrating up to our backers, and our backers are able to flow around, we'll be able to stop anyone. I think our defense might be a little more dominant. Uh, I think you talked to Jake Ernest earlier. He's he's a stud. Um, we got a lot of returning guys on defense. We got some new faces on the D line, but uh, I think our D line is gonna gonna be in a good place. And then offense. I mean, uh, obviously we don't have Will Stack, but I still think Ryan Stoops is gonna be able to get it done. Um, just a, a little bit different uh, adjusting to him, but I think uh, I think our offense is gonna be just fine. Graduating, Kyle. After uh, you know he had a big play for you guys the last two years, yeah. that coming out of that backfield, Gavin started to get some takes as well last year. What do you make of that mix and how it changes now that Gavin's really the lead back? I mean, I like I like Gavin just as much. I mean, he's he's just one of those guys that's not afraid to take a hit. He's gonna shoot the gap. He's gonna light someone up, and he's gonna create big plays on Friday night, just like Kyle Figure. I think that group of seniors set a really great blueprint, and obviously we won the league last year and set a great blueprint on how to do that. So we're just trying to take that experience and my experience from being on that team and other kids that were on that team carry that out to the kids that are coming up and carry that throughout this year to take another title in the league where do you think that physical nature comes from how do you harness that i don't know i think it's just a mindset honestly like you either have it or you don't it's not really something you can get taught but i feel like at a little at the youth level it kind of gets taught or like brought up and it just follows through all throughout high school and middle school we kind of take that um mentality through the, throughout the offseason and stuff like that. We, we understand the most physical team always wins the Suburban League. So building that culture throughout the offseason then being able to transfer from the weight room and put that onto the field is really important for us. And that's kind of been a goal this offseason this summer. We have some returning players and we know that they're good and they, they've played a lot of football for us. Uh, it's, it's, it's trying to develop. We need 22, you know, we tell our guys all the time, I need 22 defensive starters. I need 22 offensive starters. Uh, if you look at last year at one point when we played Hudson and Stowe or Hudson and Nordonia in back-to-back -back weeks, we were missing nine starters in those back-to-back -back weeks, and we just we had developed that depth, and, and so that mentality of 22 starters on offense, 22 starters on defense, really served us well in two of our biggest league games of the year, uh, and they were in back-to-back -back weeks. We were missing nine guys, um, but there was there was no excuse making. That that's that was our mentality. Let's continue to develop the depth, and let's make sure that it's the next man up, and that we don't miss a beat. Having 22 guys available on each side of the ball, it's yeah. one thing that plan for it and try to attain it it's another thing to actually successfully develop 22 guys yeah. to be able to play on both sides of the ball yeah you know how challenging is that? It, it's it, it is our challenge as a coach like you know we, we've got great players and you've interviewed you know you've interviewed Jake and you've interviewed Gavin and, and Eli and, and and while we've been a part of their development they're, they're great football players they're instinctive great football players and so um, while you want to, you, like you gravitate towards those guys because they're really good and you want to make sure that they're getting the development, it's really, hey, we've got to make sure that their next guy is ready. You know, that's that's our challenge, and those guys are such great leaders. They also know that. They recognize that they're, you know, the, the team is as, as, as weak or as strong as your weakest link. Yeah, I think that's a culture thing at Wadsworth. Like, we take pride in, you know, bringing up the younger kids and, like, being, being teachers as upperclassmen, teaching them Wadsworth's culture and, you know what we like to do up at the varsity level and I think that that's a key contributor to having 22 guys being successful on a Friday night.